Hey YouTube, hope you guys are doing great. Today is Tuesday, January 28th, and 2014. So I just made a previous video. This is the video about autoimmune diseases, how to help yourself, and I think the big breakthrough that I made through a bunch of research, um, because my mom and I both have hypothyroid issues. Um, I have vitiligo. She has some other like polarious, some crazy thing, um, another skin condition that came out of nowhere. And often these doctors are really, at least in Western medicine, are really unsure what causes it and, and how it's related um, to I guess your overall health. So my theory really after researching a bunch, um, and I've, you know, God, I've read so many different case studies, different, um, different methods that people tried. Um, number one, I always recommend if you guys are trying to battle some like illness that you're not really getting help with, with, you know, modern day doctors here in America would be to check out earthclinic.com, I think, or is earthclinic.org. I think it's .com. Um, check it out. Also, they have amazing alternative methods and, and medicines and things like that. So getting to the point, I really think honestly that everything with autoimmune stuff has to do with the gut bacteria balance in your stomach. And doctors are just now starting to catch on to this, but that when we have an overgrowth of candida yeast, um, it, it causes all these other issues like wheat belly, you got, you can cause like diabetes and cause all this other stuff. So research candida yeast, about 80% of Americans have this, um, overgrowth in our system because of the standard American diet, which is like crappy breads, processed food, sugar, you know, wheat, gluten, all this other stuff. Um, and also the overuse of antibiotics because that weakens the good bacteria in your system. So in order to boost that, and what I've started to do is key biotics, um, and I'm not getting paid to do this or whatever, I'd buy these myself, and um, they're ex more expensive than most probiotics. So what's really cool is that you need a probiotic, honestly, to make a difference in your system that has at least 5 to 10 billion organisms um, in it, where this has 37 and a half billion. It also does not cause bad breath or whatever. This stuff's amazing. They recommend at least being on it for at least a month. Um, and you'll notice stuff like that to help improve that. So probiotics. So, okay, let me back up too. With gluten, um, a lot of people are noticing they have more gluten intolerances. And it seems like the fad cliche thing to talk about these days. But um, the way that we process our food, especially bread, like wheat and, and the flour, it's not what it used to be back in the day. Bread actually used to be a very nutritious, healthy food. And now that it's processed and they took all the great stuff out of it, and it was, you know, to preserve it longer. Um, it's at... What happens with gluten, this protein, it actually scratches the intestinal lining. And I think it's like 70% to 80% of your immune system is actually in your intestines. So that's why key biotics are really great to um, take care of that. So what all this causes is leaky gut. And leaky gut basically is that the lining in your intestines, your stomach um, breaks down, whether it's from the food or, or the overgrowth of bad bacteria and yeast or whatever. And so your foods are not being digested properly. So you have these, these um, particles and these toxins and, and other things that are actually leaking through your system into your body, your blood, your skin, or whatever, and your body starts to recognize it as a foreign matter and attacks it. Um, and I think that really explains like with my vitiligo and, and other things like that as well too. So that's, um, I really think it breaks down to being leaky gut system and not having a good balance in your stomach. So that's really what I think. Um, also people can have, um, they notice like vitiligo. A lot of people with vitiligo have low stomach acid production. And people think that when you have heartburn and stuff like that, that, oh, you have a high stomach acid amount. That's actually incorrect. It's usually actually opposite of that. So like don't take Pepsi AC or whatever you can take. It's called betadine. Um, H hydrochloric acid or whatever it's backwards, but you want to make sure you supplement it with at least one that comes with pepsin in it. And this one's 648 milligrams and it comes with 150 milligrams of pepsin because, um, you don't want it to basically leak out, I think calcium and, and different things from your bones and body. So just make sure you supplement with that. How to take that would be, um, if you think you have low stomach acid or whatever, um, you want to take it at, with a meal and then also, um, um, like sometimes after a meal because your stomach's already produced enough acid and you're trying to get it to produce more so that it learns to do that and sustains it so you don't have to stay on the stuff forever. Um, but anyway, so each meal, try taking one extra. And then when you start to feel like a burning sensation, not like anything terrible, but just like discomfort a little bit, that's the level minus one pill that you should be at. So minus one pill, that's the, that's the level you should be at until you notice any other issues. So by doing that, that helps your system digest better. It kind of helps fix the leaky gut syndrome, all this other stuff too. Um, now here's here, this thing's crazy. I just read about this stuff. Um, 
Okay, let me back up. Sorry, there's so much stuff to cover, you guys. It's like months of research I'm trying to spew out at you guys so you can learn stuff. Um, also, they found a lot of cancers and tumors actually have an overgrowth of candida yeast in them. Um, so that's something interesting to, to think about as well, too. Um, okay, so the next thing I recommend if you have vitiligo or any other any other autoimmune disease is L-glutamine or even um, irritable bowel syndrome. If you know anybody with that, use this. L-glutamine... Um, Basically, it usually helps support muscle mass, but this, I think, is also a protein. But what it does is that it helps rebuild your intestinal lining. So you have this distraught, weakened, thinned down, scratched up intestinal and immune system, basically, and you need to rebuild that. So um, you can take like a half teaspoon on an empty stomach in the morning and in the evening and probably in the afternoon. You know, obviously, you guys... I'm not a doctor, run this past, whatever, don't sue me. I'm just trying to tell you what's working for me um, and my family, my family and I. Um, and, you know, I want you to research because sometimes doctors don't have all the answers and they don't continue their education. And this is new and upcoming stuff, so I just want to put it out there for you. Anyway, so definitely take this. Um, if you have vitiligo, this has helped cure people um, by taking L-glutamine with a probiotic, also a B12 and ginkgo biloba. Um, anyways, research your stuff, you guys. I get so many emails being like, in my other videos where I'm like, hey, take this milligrams of ginkgo biloba, use this magnetic copper bracelet, and I still get people asking questions, you know, those very specific. So, like, I, I literally have a bazillion channels and emails and things that I have to take care of. So, like, just try researching it yourself. Um, that saves me a little bit of time. The next thing is called NAC. And I'm going to see if I can find out what the... Okay. N-acetylcytosine. And basically, this thing is awesome. I was reading about this. This is like a natural liver cleanser. And in with vitiligo and other autoimmune diseases in a way, it's believed that there is a poor elimination process going on with your liver. Um, and and if I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Edgar Casey, but he was known as the sleeping prophet. But he was actually able to go into trances and diagnose people and give them, you know, recommendations for cures you know, all the way across the other country, in other countries, you know. Um, and, and he was an amazing psychic, in my opinion. So um, that man was very gifted. A true story. You can read about him. Fascinating guy. So anyway, so with vitiligo and other diseases, you can look up what Edgar Casey basically said about every disease and, and how to cure it and people's miraculous results with it. I think it's interesting. Um, so he said poor elimination stuff. So you're going to want to take this liver cleanser. But what's really cool about NAC is that, it can reduce the effects of HIV and AIDS and reduce the toxicity of chemotherapy for cancer. That is amazing. Um, I just, our systems get so overloaded with our toxins. Look at all the pollution and, and additives that we have in our plastics, um, the hormones that we have in our cosmetics and shampoos and, and plastics as well. And, you know, all this other crap in our drinking water, all this other stuff too. So this is really cool to, um, to help uh, cleanse your liver and it's known as like a free radical protectant. So, um, and it's got selenium in it and all this other stuff too. So those are the things that I am using right now. And I've noticed my vitiligo has gotten a lot better. Um, I think the biggest thing was the ginkgo biloba and you can take like 60 milligrams, you know, like two to three times a day or whatever. It also helps with like concentration, I think is too, um, as well. Um, and you know, maybe all this stuff sounds crazy or whatever, but when you think about our medicine, where did it come from? It's these natural plants, these things, you know, um, and I, I, that's really where it stems from. And now that we have big pharma, you know, the big pharmacy and drug companies, they are not making a profit off, you know, uh, natural things like ginkgo biloba or colloidal silver or apple cider vinegar, you know, things like that. So you're not going to hear about it. You're not going to hear your doctor prescribing it because they're not taught about these things. I think they only have to take like one nutrition class. Or something like that for most like you know general practitioners so anyways um so yeah so if you have psoriasis um my mom was able to clear up psoriasis on her head and other stuff by doing the candida diet um anti-candida diet basically and taking the probiotics and all this other stuff and boost your immune system and cleanse your system that's really the root of what you need to do and and rebuild your immune system by rebuilding your intestines, that intestinal lining, balancing out the bacteria in your stomach, eliminating toxins from your system, eating a healthy raw diet, um, avoid gluten. Gluten's actually not even good for you and it causes so much, and same with wheat in general, causes a lot of weight gain, causes all these other problems like wheat belly like I have. <laughs> so I need to, I need to work on that. Um, this has been a very ADD video and I was trying to do a better video and come up with something that made more sense. It was more coherent, but um, there's just so much to cover and this is really what I think the root cause of vitiligo is the the overgrowth of candida the 
um, breakdown basically of your immune system, um, all this other stuff. So give it a try. I will list these um, items in the um, description box. Other than that, you guys are on your own. So uh, so try researching and figure it out. Um, experiment. Obviously, consult a doctor. Make sure you're not going to have any um, excuse me, um, issues with uh, reactions to other medications as well. Sorry, I just ate pizza. It was terrible, and I shouldn't be eating pizza. Tonight was the one night I broke out of the diet, and I was just, I had a really bad day at work, so I was just like, I'm going to eat pizza. Anyways, don't judge. <laughs> okay, YouTube, I love you guys much. Good luck, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.